So, I guess this is officially underway. Uh, what we're going to do now is just really quick stop, very that. stop that immediately and don't ever do that again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Woo, a new daddy in town. We're, uh, we're going to do a brief recap of what happened. Highlights. So, uh, Andrew climbed up a chimney and fell, nearly killing himself. Hogger got down like a bug bear, by a bugbear, like a chump. Uh, mm -hmm. Pervin saved the day. Woo, baby! Oh. And uh, I totally bend that pencil. Over Lydia here. spoke assertively to the bugbear. Lydia. Ooh. Lydia. 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 Our, Lydia that handles our, our paychecks. Our accountant. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a DM. Yeah. <laughs> uh, something Ian just reminded me is that Pervin's like persuaded three goblins to go away. Yeah, that's that was really magnificent. Cool. Yeah, Pervin's yeah, yeah. was absolutely the hero of the day. That was pretty cool. Um, and that RP. Thanks. Mm. I really appreciated uh, the majority of the comments in the last uh, episode. Very constructive criticism. Some people were just idiots, but that's okay. Uh, you're gonna get. A we're gonna speed things up. I'm not that gonna be such a tight ass ben. about the rules. I like uh, when you're a tight ass. No! All right. We all Fun. like your tight okay. ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll, the, what I like about the show is it's flexible. We can change things session behind to session. Behind the garbage can. But what really, what's really exciting is hopefully you guys will get out of the cave. So to paint the scene right now, you guys are in the room of the bugbear. Also, we don't have the whiteboard because it'll to make my sense. understanding, there won't be any need for it. But you you were in the room of the bugbear. Uh, the goblins have fled. The bugbear's corpse is in front of you. Hogger, unconscious is lying next to you. He is uh, not dying, he is stable. Foaming at the mouth. But oh still needs some help. Foaming at the mouth, I guess. <laughs> hey. Huh? What's going on over there? Nothing. Nothing. They're, so they're sorry, hide. man. They're talking production. Should we get RP on? RP, RP on. on. RP on. RP, should RP be on. Full RP right now. <laughs> raging RP. Okay. I got such a raging RP right now. Said uh, well, yeah. You guys are free to act. <laughs> Unless you, I go back to that room below the waterfall room and explore that. Mm, that's well, obviously bugbear. Bugbear's still there. Isn't well, he? I remember there was a hallway from there. That's it, a that's a was, dead bugbear. What was the bugbear's last act? He laughed at Pervin. So did, did he do anything after that? No. He sucked the very and died. last thing he did on this earth was laughed at Pervin. Wow. Died what? Alive? doing what he loves. I'm stable. You're, you're stable. You're unconscious. unconscious. You're unconscious. And we are going to leave you there. I smash the bugbear into. No, 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 no. no, no. What, what part of you're unconscious? <laughs> <laughs> In my mind. Yeah. Pervin's <laughs> rushes to Hogger's side. I've already left the room to go to the room south of the waterfall. If, if Hogger, or if Pervin's is willing to kiss Hogger on the lips, I will give Hogger one HP. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Pervins will never live through that. Hogger, is anyone Hogger, else in the room? It can't just be like a peck. I mean, you gotta go for it. Is anyone Lyle else? Lyle is in the room. I left! Does no one listen Lyle to me gone. when I speak? I left does across anyone, the bridge. Does anyone follow Lilia? Oh, Pervins is the only person who could follow Lilia because Andre is still stubbornly waiting in that wagon. Right. Oh yeah, right. Andre right. is not in there. Yeah. Okay, wait. I loot the bugbear, then I go to the room south of the waterfall. Hermans has rushed to Hogger's side. The bugbear has a pouch of 25 gold on him. Boom. Not bad. And it's a giant mace, which is pretty difficult for you to carry. I leave the mace and I split the gold with Pervins. Well, Pervins is still, he's not with you though. I'm, I, I'm, I'm next to the bugbear. Lilia, uh, oh. as a neutral character, it's totally fine that you're doing this, but why do you feel compelled to share the gold with Because I thought Pervins did a really great job. <laughs> and it was really funny. Okay. <laughs> Pervins? takes this as a sign that Lilia might be a little more interested in him oh, than Pervins. as just a as just a party member. He he thinks that maybe poor, she poor wants Pervins. his party member. <laughs> poor Pervins. That I look a, forward to seeing That was a penis. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we got joke. it. We were right there. Party well, just for our viewers that might not have gotten it. Um, what so, Pervins so doesn't realize is Lilia it doesn't doesn't swing. Pervin's, that way. Pervin's blushes and he he giggles <laughs> and then he rush he rushes to Hogger's side. I say, Good job out there, Pervin's. I'm gonna go away now and I go <laughs> to the room south of the waterfall. I think Lilia's okay, cool. playing with Pervin's a little bit. Mind games. And Mind you games. can pick whatever you want and, about Lilia. Uh, Dungeon Master, what is inside this wagon? Great question. What is here? What is inside of this wagon? So, <clears throat> what is inside the wagon? There are a bunch of. Crates and boxes. That's what we're paid wooden to. Boxes. What's what we're paid to move, right? right? Is the wooden boxes. 
inside those crates and boxes because you were told what you were carrying before you carried it. A lot of weapons. Uh, there's some gold in there. Uh, and armor. There's some armor in there as well. I never, ever thought to ask about that. Yeah. Oh, man. You just <laughs> made off with this wagon days yeah. ago. Wow, there's weapons, gold, and armor mm -hmm. in this wagon. Mm. Okay, thank you for this knowledge. <sighs> Welcome. Uh, so this kiss thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You give him one HP. How many HP does Hogger have right now? Zero. Zero. He's Zero. unconscious. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Pervance has always heard that uh, you must do what you must do for adventure and for the party. Yes. He closes his eyes and he pictures the Lady Lilia as oh, he no. presses his lips against the surprisingly supple Hoggers. What? Hoggers what? Lips. <laughs> <laughs> surprisingly supple. Uh, Hogger, you become conscious as Pervance is sucking your face. <laughs> <laughs> A push Pervin's aside. Like a gentle sh- like is it a gentle. gentle. Okay. Oh, that's very it's true. Only <laughs> a gentle shove. <laughs> and I, Giant stride. And I immediately leave the cave. Like where? To the I wagon? Leave. I go outside. You go and come hang out in this wagon? Yeah. Okay. So um, Pervin's feels confusing feelings that he's never felt before oh, no. in his life. Uh -oh. But he fall he sc he scampers after Hogger. Okay, so Kyle, or I'm sorry, Andrew, Hogger, and Pervance are outside of the wagon. Yes. Uh, Lilia, you are going into the room where you find a really unexpected sight. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, no. You find uh, a group of five goblins. One of them looks bigger, brawnier than the others. Uh, so. You surmise that maybe that's their leader or something like that. They are all in a circle around a fireplace. It's just corpses, blood everywhere. There's they're all dead. Of, they're all dead. There's blood on the walls. Mm -hmm. There's the 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 non goblin captains are actually all dismembered, but they're arranged in a very specific way. Uh, it's grotesque, but there's there's like. Someone put a lot of consideration into how they placed them. And, and in the center of this circle, you see a symbol. And that symbol is drawn in blood. And it looks like an eye uh, that's bleeding. So it's like that, and then there's just blood coming down. And, and uh, you also, behind the goblins, there are quite a few crates. Uh, and that's. That's what you see. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is quite the room, yeah. Um, also, you're okay. the only person with this knowledge, right? Right, 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 right. Um, I, I gingerly move along the side of the room, watching the center and ex examining it, looking at this eye, moving my way to the crates, and I, I, as quietly as I can, look through the crates to see if there's anything worth anything. So <clears throat> what you see on nearly all of the crates is another symbol. This one does not look so uh, malicious, I guess. It's a shield with a blue lion on it. So it's, it, all of them have it. It almost looks like what a store would put on mm -hmm. boxes that they were selling. Um, Are they the same as on the crates in our wagon? What's do, I rec that? do I recognize these symbols? You do not recognize the symbols. Uh, the boxes have a similar style and shape to the boxes that are in your wagon. Uh, all of the boxes uh, don't have anything particularly interesting in them. It's, it's a lot of um, like food, a lot of grain, a lot of uh, like fruit, a lot of stuff like that. It looks like, okay. again, provisions. something you sell provisions, yeah. Okay. However, there is one that is, I'm assuming you're looking through all of them. Yes. There is one that is notable. Uh, and I don't remember exactly what is in it, so give me just one second. Granted. <laughs> well, 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 hey, I'm looking through hey, these boxes. Two. What'd you see in there? I well, look. What was inside at that cave? The middle Who are you again? Some more. <laughs> My name's Andre. Uh, I'm just adventuring with you. Uh, fell down a big old cliff 
and that is why I'm almost dead right oh, now. Andrew, thank God you are safe and you are out of harm's way. It was a vile scene in there that a, a, a lady of your stature should not be part of. <laughs> Pervin's kind of a sexist. Where is that tall <laughs> elf? I walk away from the wagon like 20 feet away and just sit down. <laughs> Where's right. that tall elf? Oh, the, the beautiful lady Lilia. Uh, that is a good question. Perhaps we should go seek her. Oh. What's sure. in the box? <laughs> uh, in the box, in the it's it's a chest is actually what it is. Nice. Uh, a chest. It's one hundred gold. I take the gold. Two potions of healing. I take those those <laughs> potions. That don't look perfect. No. And <laughs> a jewel, an emerald jewel. Not bad. I take that as well. Not I put them all chance. in my explorer's pack, okay. which I believe is the kind of pack I have. Uh, Whatever. Do you take any of the? You can surmise that the the things that you're seeing are probably obviously looted from the people that have crossed by. Yes. Like the goblins ambush you at the very beginning. They probably did this to more people. These goods probably belong to somebody. So, do you want to take them, or do you want to leave them, or what the would you? Provisions. Like to do? Hmm. Maybe they belong to that guy that got his throat slit by the bugbear. Yeah. I mean, eh. Wow. I think I would leave them. Kay. I can find food pretty much anywhere. Kay. I guess what I could, I, I'll ask these guys if we want to move them to the mouth of the cave or something so that people can take them. Okay. But there's nothing else in the room? I looked around. No, just that, that, uh, that. The corpses and the symbol, okay. which you can get closer to inspect if you want. I, I, I do so. I, I was going to check the, the goblins' bodies if they have anything strange or, or interesting on them. So <clears throat> as soon as you get within about a foot of this corpse circle, there's, there's a pink-ish flash. And it just, you, you can't even tell what happened. It just goes like that. And you hear a voice, huh. a disembodied voice. It doesn't sound like it's coming from any particular direction. And it's deep in such a way that it's fairly nondescript. It doesn't sound like any particular race. It has like this ethereal quality to it. And it says three words, don't press on. And then the corpses that were all arranged uh, start, they, they light on fire, <laughs> they ignite. And slowly they just, become Ash. Wow. I love that I'm the only one seeing <laughs> uh, No one's going to believe me. Okay, uh, I kind of stand there for a second looking around. I'm not super well versed in magics and, and things like that, the arcane, but I know I don't care for them, and I certainly don't follow their advice. But I go back out to the mouth of the cave, and I say, uh, well... I inspected a different room in the cave that none of us went to. I found a ring of bodies and some strange symbols, uh, a bunch of provisions, fruit and stuff like that if you guys want any of that, uh, and this emerald. And I dropped the emerald on the ground. Herman says, did you find any gold? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lightly, there is one other very important thing that I need to tell you is, <clears throat> When your druid village was attacked, oh. you saw that symbol burned into one of the trees. Oh no. Oh, oh that's God. heavy. That's real important actually. All right. So I I say all that stuff, but there is a there is a fury burning in my heart as I do so. Uh I wanna look at that emeralds. I want to know how valuable it is because I'm a thief and I'm used to like checking these things out and knowing what they're worth. Definitely. Um you're saying you've stolen quite a few jewels in your time. Absolutely. And you've pawned yeah. them. Right. right. Uh, what kind of emerald are we talking about right here? That emerald is... It's, it's like it's a, it's a very nice emerald. <laughs> 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 one of the best. Uh, <laughs> Top drawer. It might be hard to get this in one of the smaller towns or villages, but in a decent-sized city, you can easily fetch at least 100 gold for it, depending on your bartering skills. I want to say that. Yo, that's a that's a nice that's a decent emerald. 
Well, have fun with it. You're just going to leave it on the ground? I don't care about this emerald. You can have it. You can have the emerald. You've earned it. I slowly look. <laughs> <laughs> and then just pick up the emerald and put it into my pouch. Is it everything you hoped it would be? Do, do, do the other two adventurers just, that's cool? Hogger's sitting away somewhere. Right, Hogger probably doesn't care. Perpins doesn't know what one would want with such a silly rock. But, <laughs> but he, he's... Uh, he, he asked the Lady Lila, what, can you describe in more detail what happened in this room, this cavern? There is a, a symbol and some some kind of wicked magic. No. I, I hear the word magic. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I approach and you. There, and, and a voice came from all around and said, don't press on. No. <laughs> yeah. A magical voice said, don't press on. Well, we should definitely there keep are, going. There are, we <laughs> must blood fight everywhere. this voice. For once, I agree with you. In the, when you embark on adventure, you must look in the face of adversity, in the face of what is is known. Wow, Purvins is exceptionally courageous. Yeah, Purvins, he has read a lot of books on adventure. He's earned he, it. He knows, <laughs> he knows what adventure is supposed to be, whether he himself has it in him to, to execute that. So we, that. That remains to be seen after a fashion. I love it. <laughs> okay. I want to do a better job RPing because of you. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are finally and effectively done with Cragmo Hideout. There is, you've explored every room. We did it! You've seen everything Yay. there is to see. Um, Ransacked the shit out of it. <laughs> you, so you, the, I'll, I'll tell you what you know right now. You know how to get to town where you're supposed to deliver goods that you have in the wagon. You can still do that. Um, or you can just go into some uncharted direction and we can bullshit it from there. <laughs> <laughs> we should complete our mission. We should, we should probably to go town. to town. Because I want to I see if, if, what's his name, Graxavan or whatever? I want to know if he knows, what, Gundren, Gundren, if he knows anything about this symbol and that voice. You don't know whether or not Gundren's in town. You don't know where Gundren uh -oh. is. Uh, but we do know that Gundren was, will pay us. He hired us, right? right. And I'm he only doing this for information. So he went out Urban's, and destroyed Urban's my would forest. like to know what the Valiant Hogger what his, what his uh, idea is. I go on the back of the wagon and I just lay down. Hogger's, Hogger's having a little bit of a hissy uh, fit. Hogger, Hogger has an eye <laughs> infection. So let's go to town. Hogger <laughs> has an eye infection. <laughs> it's not feeling so great. Okay. So of the first 25 gold, I took 12. Oh, also, momentous news. Uh, and you took the rest. Of I whatever. did not get your guys' experience to you in a timely fashion. We don't have time to do it now. But you have enough experience from finishing Gragmaw Hideout and your recent encounter with the goblins and the bugbears. You are at level two and a half. Whoa! Yeah, well on your way to level three. Uh, cool. How much experience is that actually? So we can write it down. Do you know? I looked it up this morning. It's 300 to get to level two. I think 600 to get to level three. Sick. Uh, so we're at it's on page It's 15. 300 to level two. So you yep. got 450. Yeah, or you're 450. Something? That's correct. That's, That's exactly what, what it is. Yep. Because we had 100 going in. Yeah. To yes. Okay. 450. Whoa. Dang. At level three, I learned how to climb faster. <laughs> you needed that. I needed that so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Man, at my oh, level three, sorry. I get my druid circle. Cool. Or wait, is cool. it level two? Well, Pervins will do whatever the valiant hogger says, so he climbs into the wagon with his chum. He didn't say anything. Hogger said nothing. I'm asleep. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that it, well, I suppose we can get an in. We're yeah. in kind of rough shape yeah. physically. Oh yeah, uh, I'd, I'd like to rest. I'd like to Several rest of us are ride. in very bad shape. Mm -hmm. uh, we could either rest here or try to find an inn when we get to town, but we'll that will probably shifts. cost money. Let's just rest shifts in the back of the wagon on the, on the way over to town. All right. I would take a four hour rest and then could watch for another Number of hours. How long do you want to uh, rest? I'll do the rest because I assume town's not, how far away is town? It's a two-day journey. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's rest up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hogger's already asleep. Yeah. Parents is there like a fun slumber party. Okay. Sure. Uh, so as you, you guys will rest in the thicket, I'm assuming. No, no in the no, back no, of the like wagon. In the back of the wagon while someone else steers. Oh, okay. Are we driving as we're resting? Yeah, I thought. Oh, 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 oh okay. I misunderstood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Okay.